Hey you guys, it's Andrea Amador. I'm so, so happy to come here live from Maine with an incredible message for you. And that is to live life on your terms. You know, there is absolutely nothing like going back, um, thinking in your mind of the way that you used to be to kind of really humble you as to a lot of changes that have gone on. Let me explain what I mean. I'm here in Maine, and last night we had dinner at a place called The Bowling Claw in Wells, Maine. Oh my God, amazing food. And I came here 27 years ago as a blushing bride, and uh, I was very different than I am now. I'm probably about 40 or 50 pounds heavier than I am. And during those times, even though I was much, much thinner, I was so freaked out and obsessed about how I looked all the time. I had to be perfect. I had to have the perfect nails. I had to have the perfect hair. I had to, you know, have the perfect clothes. I wouldn't leave the house without makeup. And the funny thing is, here I am, 27 years later, and we're packing and planning this trip to pick up my daughter in Maine and bring her home. And I packed with no makeup. And it made me realize that, you know, this is really wild because I'm living life on my terms and I'm no longer playing by the same rules that I used to. And what I mean, for example, is that the hair, the makeup, the nails, it doesn't matter that much because I can make myself feel good. I know that, you know, I can feel good, make myself feel good or make myself feel bad. And it has nothing to do with makeup. So I wanted you to know that in order to have a sense of really loving your body and having a sense of loving the skin you're in, what you gotta do is you gotta live life on your terms. <laughs> okay. Still working on figuring out all the technology. But anyway, so I'm here in my bathing suit because even though it wasn't important to me to pack my makeup, it was so important to me to pack my bathing suit because I'm going to go out and I'm going to have fun and enjoy a swim. And back 27 years ago, when I was probably 40 pounds thinner, I wouldn't wear my bathing suit because I was so freaked out about, you know, fat thighs or fat butt or all these things. And I don't feel that way anymore. But, you know, it's taken me a long time to get to this place to feel comfortable with my changing, aging body. And I don't always wake up in the morning and come to the mirror and say, oh, I love you, Andrea, because it's not like that. That's not realistic. And you're probably also struggling with the same thing. So I want to teach you something that's become really important to me. When I look in the mirror, I see myself and I see, you know, the wrinkles and the dark circles and, you know, the fat and, and all these other things that used to really stop me from living. But I look at this in terms of this is a part of who I am. And that's beautiful because I've come to be this amazing person. So what I want you to do is the next time that you look at the mirror and you see the truth of, you know, you're aging and you're changing and maybe your body's getting heavier than you want it to be. I want you to hold yourself. My thing is my belly. <laughs> and I want you to hold yourself and look in the mirror and say, I love you. You know, this is something that's been made so, so popular by the late Louise Hay. And um, 
I can't say enough about mirror work because it is astonishing. When you look into the mirror in your eyes, actually, when you look into one eye, because you can't look into two eyes at the same time, but when you focus and you look into the mirror in your eyes, one, <laughs> you are looking into the depths of your soul. So as I stand and I look at the mirror, I put my hands on my stomach and I want you to do the same thing. And I want you to remember that you are beautiful just the way you are. And you may not look the way you want to. You may not look the way you used to. But right here, right now, is what you've been given, this moment. So focus on taking that in and loving yourself. Saying, I love you. It's really, really important. So I wanna take this next level with you. This week, I'm going to be doing a class and it's going to be teaching you how to master your mirror so that you're not going to have that same kind of angsty, pained relationship where you're not going to feel like, oh, I can't wear a bathing suit or I can't, you know, go without my hair looking perfect or my makeup looking perfect because what will they think? Who cares what they think? So I'm here to help you. I'm looking forward to working with you, and in my next Facebook Live tomorrow, we'll talk a little further about this. But today, think about living life on your terms, baby. Okay, have a great day. Bye now.